Hello and welcome. Well, I went to the store the other day and I was looking for some chalk paint because I wanted to paint my chairs in the kitchen and I wanted to do them sharp as chic. In other words, I wanted to put one coat of paint on and a colour, like grey in this instance, on the outside and rub it down with the sandpaper and then get it all roughed and, and make it look sharp as chic or oldy worldy and then going to varnish it. Now, I come across some tins of paint, as you can see there. And when I picked them up, they were really heavy and I thought, what is in this? What is in this stuff? It can't be that heavy. Well, the only thing I thought of that could be really heavy like that is chalk. That's what they call it, chalk paint. <laughs> so, that made me think, I'll make my own chalk paint. I'll save myself a fortune. Now, I've already gone and made some. Um, I'll tell you the recipe as I do this. But you can see, there's the white paint that I've actually made. This is going to be my base coat. And it's quite thick and gloopy. And it's lovely. And you just mix it up. And all that is this. That's all it is, is household paint, matte paint. I like the matte paint. The matte paint is better. Um, it's because it's got less vinyl in it um, and there's less latex in it. And, oh, that's heavy. And that's quite cheap. I use that for making gessos. Yes, so this is the stuff. So I put 400 grams of, of that, 400 grams on my little scales here, of white household emulsion paint in there. And then I added 100 grams of chalk. And this can be purchased on my website. So that's calcium carbonate. Or in other words, powdered chalk. It can be passed through a sieve or it can just be bunged in there like I just did. And it works really well. And um, I'll put a couple of pictures of my chair. But there, look. That's one of the chairs I've painted. Um, so I thought, oh, well, I'm not going to stop there. I thought I'm going to make some grey as well. Now, this is very expensive stuff. Um, so all I've done there is <laughs> I got a tin of I got a tin of grey paint. Where did I put that tin of grey paint? Clive, where did you put that tin of grey paint? There it is. So I went and bought some of this stuff. Again. Chic Shadow. <laughs> By Dulux. Oh, this is silk. Now I wanted a bit of shine to it, a little bit more um vigour then. I wanted to just have a little shine to it. Um But will will the um chalk actually take that away no because you should be able to see this you should be able to see the shine in there there we are it's just like um it's a little bit more latex in there i think so i added some chalk the same again 400 grams of paint to 100 grams on my scales of chalk and that works really well and i've saved myself so much money that's all you need to do is make chalk paint so if you've got an art project or something like that, then don't go wasting your money. Just buy some chalk and buy, and buy some um, household emulsion paint and you are away. The only thing I did buy was some lacquer. This is some clear coat um, and I'm not going to skimp on that because this is the good stuff. Because I don't want it to fade and chip and go yellow and stuff. So I did go to the expense of buying some lacquer for my decorative project so yes not not nothing to do with painting but hey if you've got a decorative project and you want to make some chalk paint or manipulate that mix into a gesso why not it works all you need to do is just play around with that mix and there's another video there that i made regarding my gesso mixtures so have a look have a look and see what you can do play and save some money that's what i suggest anyway have a nice day i'll see you in the studio for another lesson where we can paint away the stress of everyday life here in wales i'll see you then bye